So, you know, I, I, uh, a friend of mine um, gave me this image because he worked in this sphere long before I did. When I started this, I didn't know what social enterprise was. I had no idea that a huge number of business schools around the United States and other things were talking about social enterprise, which really, you know, one definition is, is this one you're looking at, which is just sort of the blending of kind of traditional nonprofit work with traditional for-profit work and traditional government aid work. And so it's really about making impact through the marketplace in a lot of ways, which is what I was doing, but I just, I just did it because it seemed like a good idea. And a, a friend of mine called me because um, I saw something they posted online and I said, tell me about like what you're doing. And when they found out what I was doing, they said, man, this is exactly what we're talking about. The church needs to move towards. So social enterprise is really, you know, engaging the marketplace, um, trying to do business, but with a good and a kingdom end in my vocabulary in mind. And um, I'm very passionate about it. I have a bent towards this as I've, as I've said, um, but I just didn't know it existed um, or you could think about it this way. And largely that conversation has been driven by particularly uh, the millennials and now Gen Z saying, look, we don't just want to go work for 40 years and then try to give our money away if we have any at retirement to make a good impact. Why can't we make impact along the way in our careers? How would we do that? And so they've really forced the kind of breaking down of some of these firewalls, these traditional firewalls within these worlds in ways that are getting people to rethink how you could use capital or how you could build a business to do good with it. And so I unintentionally waded into this world, not knowing it existed simply because I had an idea to work with students.